In the previous tutorial, we add HP to the object and know how to uh, reduce the HP when user tap on the object. So now we we are going to break the object when the HP less than zero or equal to zero. So let's get back to get back to the Unity in here and uh, let's put some more uh, debug message in somewhere to watch the HP reducing. Uh, we can put it in here. Let's say print HP with this uh, variable. And go back to here. Delete this one. And the check in again. So we click click on the object. The HP keep reducing until it's broken. Okay, so now we are going to create a pieces broken pieces. So we are going to move these under the object HP. We also delete this one. We don't need this one to clean up a little bit. So to the object HP, we are going what we are going to do is if the current HP less or equal to zero, we will do something. The first thing is Destroy, destroy the current object, which is the current color model. Then we spawn the object pieces. For doing that, before we already copy this one to here, so we are gonna change this one to like this. So we don't need to find the script in here anymore. So just put like this, and uh, to put the debug in here. Okay, destroy is very simple. We simply just do this destroy game object in here. Let's check in the in the game. So you can see when we hit, let's see, it, let's try again. When we hit on the object, keep reducing, reducing until it's broken. Before it's broken, we can, we need to make it destroy first. Then we spawn the broken pieces. So that's okay right now. Going back to the script. Now we are going to spawn the object pieces. For doing that. We need to create the uh, pieces in the scene first. So let's create a duplicate from this one, and let's call it and uh, let's uh, drag out of the column parent, the column parent, and call it a column p sys one. Let's hide this one first. Uh, actually, no. Let's call. Uh, let's move it out a little bit in here. Maybe to here. And for you, for easier to see, so we just put it in here. And uh, 
make it a little bit smaller, like 50%. Move out a little bit and give a rigid body and also assign a box collider. Okay, so everything is fine. And we also need another floor. Let's say floor. I put it in here. Make it big. Maybe I say 10, 10. This one is fine. I put 10 like this. Maybe bigger. 20. 20. Okay. And right now it's too dark. We need a little bit of light. Let's put a uh, directional light. In the background, we will put simply just a black background. It's easier to recognize. <coughs> Sorry about that. So for the pieces, just do a little, little bit test for the physics. Hit play. It's supposed to hit the ground and stop. Okay. Excuse me. And then we duplicate these pieces and let's call it a two. And move out like this. And make a little bit different direction like this. Let's do that again. We want it to hit on the ground, so we might want to tweak a little bit. Maybe like this, a little bit more. Move up a bit, and hit the play again. Okay. So let's create another empty object. Set to zero. And call it uh, call it column pieces, and put this under this column pieces, and make a prefab. Once we make a prefab, we don't need to put this one in the same. Or oh, one more thing, we need to make the position correct. So. Because this one is zero zero zero, so we just simply move these two to match the position of the column, like this, and uh, we update the column pieces. Double check, drag it into the sim. Okay, delete this prefab. So for spawning or instantiate this uh, column pieces. We need to do something in here. Instant sheet. Let's call it a red doll. No, just call it pieces. It's better. And uh, where we should spawn. We should spawn at the same position of the current uh, column object. And also the same rotation of the current object. But for this one, we want to make a we are going to destroy this one later too, so we are going to make this one as a local variable. Let's call it uh, pieces temp. And uh, the type 
is the game object. So which means uh, we instantiate this pieces object and uh, make it as pieces temp local variable. Don't forget this one. In object, object. Okay. Then go back to here. We need to declare a variable called the pieces in here. Go back to the Unity. Okay. Compiling something wrong in here. Let's take a look. Instantiate wrong spelling. Okay, go back to the column. So we need to drag the pieces prefab in here. Now it's supposed to spawn in the column pieces when the HP going down to zero. Let's try that. Hit, hit, hit. 20, 10. OK. So this is the pieces. So in this case, you, you can create as more pieces as you want. You can create a 3 and 4 or 5, anything you want. And you can also add a better model or better texture to make it more convincing. So let's go back to check here. After you spawn the pieces, uh, you can leave it in the stream, it's fine. But if you want to destroy it, it's very simple too. You can destroy. Piece. Pieces temp. in here right away if you want to destroy like uh, two seconds later you can just put a two seconds in here let's try that one two see okay it's gone because the sim is kind of simple so maybe we don't need to destroy it Okay, so this is how we create uh, the function for break object into pieces. See you in next tutorial.